Hello, hello, everybody. Today we have a grammar quiz, 20 questions just for you to test your English skills. Let's see how good you are. All right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be. This is Greg, teaches English. I'm Greg. I'm glad you're here. Today we have a grammar quiz. We should always be checking and testing to see where we're strong, where we're weak, what we need to improve. And this is just grammar for verb tenses. So I have 20 questions. I'll go through each question and there will be four possible answers give you a second to read it, and then we'll check the, the correct answer. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. If you find it useful, I make three new video lessons, English video lessons every week, just for you for English improvement. Let's get started. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, at the end, please write down your score. How did you do? How many did you get right or wrong? How many, how many did you get wrong? You won't get many wrong, I'm sure. Anyway, let's get started. Question number one is I blank tennis every Friday night. I playing, I play tennis, I am playing tennis, I am play tennis. So the key is every Friday night. So it's constant. So the correct answer is I play tennis every Friday night. I play tennis every Friday night. Next question. Be quiet, James. Tried to study, tries to study, tried to study. James is trying to study for his exam. A, B, C, or D? There's no A, B, C, or D. It's one, two, three, or four. Which one, James? Try, tries, tried, is trying. James is trying to study for his exam. When you're studying, it's something that is ongoing. It's continuous. So ING is trying. Next, Donna will brush her teeth after dinner. Donna is brushing her teeth after dinner. Donna brushes her teeth after dinner. Donna brush her teeth after dinner. Which one is it? Donna brushes her teeth after dinner. Donna brushes, she brushes, he brushes, I brush, you brush, we brush, Donna brushes. Next one, sorry, she can't come to the phone. She is taking a bath. She taking a bath, she take a bath, she takes a bath. Which one? She is taking a bath because it's happening right now. She's taking a bath right now. She can't come to the phone. It snows many times in New York. It snows many times every winter in New York. It snowed many times. It is snowing many times. It is snow many times. Which one? It snows. It snows many times every winter in New York. It snows. And by the way, if you have any questions why an answer is correct and another one is wrong, you can ask. Just leave it in the comment section and I'll explain the grammar rule. But it's good to see these so that you can Maybe look up the rule yourself so you have a better understanding. Next question. How many students in your class comes from China? Come from China? Came from China? Are coming from China? Students. How many students? How many students in your class come from China? Come from China. It's 10 p.m. in London and there is snow. It's 10 p.m. in London and it's snowing. And it snows and it snowed. It's 10 p.m. right now. So what is it doing? It's snowing. 
It's 10 p.m. in London and it's snowing. Number two. Next one. Babies cry when they are hungry. Cries when they are hungry. Cried when they are hungry. Are crying when they are hungry. Present simple. Present simple. Correct answer is babies cry when they are hungry. Babies cry. If it's one baby, we'd say a baby cries, but it's plural. So babies cry. Next one. What you doing in the evening? What you do in the evenings? What do you do in the evenings? What are you doing in the evenings? Which one? Which one? What do you do in the evenings? It means in general. In general, what do you do? Okay. Short one. What you doing? What you do? What are you do? What are you doing? Hmm. Mm, which one is it? Which one is it? What are you doing? What are you doing? Good. Next one. Cindy wears her jeans today, but she usually wears a skirt. Cindy wears her jeans? Cindy wearing her jeans today? Cindy wear her jeans today? Cindy is wearing her jeans today. So when you put your jeans on, they stay on for a while. So we would use is wearing, present continuous. Cindy is wearing her jeans today. Next. I think I need a new computer. I think I needed a new computer. I think I need a new computer. I think I am needing a new computer. Which one, which one? I think I need a new computer. I need, I need, you need, we need. He needs, she needs, it needs. Greg needs. But if it's I, we, or you, it's I need. Sorry, you can't borrow my pen. I was using it myself. I using it myself. I use it myself. I am using it myself. Which one? It's present continuous, not past continuous. I am using it myself. Okay, good. Are you getting most of these correct, I hope? If not, it's a good opportunity to see where you need to improve your understanding of verb tenses and how we use them in different contexts, in different situations, depending on the rest of the sentence structure. What's the context? Is it past, present, future? Is it talking about something that's happening now, something that happened in the past, something that's that's happening in the past, but still happening right now. All right. So there's a lot of different ways we have to uh, think about how we use our verb tense so that it's grammatically correct. Next, you enjoying yourself? Enjoy you yourself? Do you enjoy yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? Which one sounds the best? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? Next, it's a story about a man who kills his wife. Ow. Killed his wife. Kill his wife is killing his wife. It's a story about a man who kills his wife because he doesn't want to lose her. The key is doesn't. He does not. So it's not, it's not number two. It's not killed because we would have to say he killed his wife because he didn't, but because it's present, he kills his, temp, his wife because he doesn't. So other words in the sentence make a difference in how the, we use the verb. What time the train leaves? What time leaves the train? Is the train leaving? What time is the train leaving? What time does the train leave? What's your sentence? What's your correct answer? What time does the train leave? 
you know, number three was would not be bad. What time is the train leaving? What time will the train leave? But the best option out of these four is what time does the train leave? Next one. I not enjoy school dances. I don't enjoy school dances. I doesn't enjoy school dances. I am not enjoying school dances. Which verb form? of enjoy I don't enjoy I don't enjoy school dances number two I don't enjoy school dances I will look for my pen have you seen it so there's another the second sentence tells you what the first sentence verb has to be have you seen it I will look for my pen I'm looking for my pen I look for my pen I am looking for my pen have you seen it what sounds correct? I am looking for my pen. Have you seen it? I am looking. It's, I'm, I haven't found it yet. I haven't found my pen yet, so I am looking for it. I'm still looking for it. Where is it? You can keep my iPad. I don't use it anymore. I doesn't use it anymore. I didn't use it anymore. I am not using it anymore. Again, Number one and number three, I'm sorry, number one and number four, both sound all right. I don't use it anymore. You can keep my iPad, I don't use it. You can keep my iPad, I am not using it. Probably number one, you can keep my iPad, I don't use it anymore. So take it, take it, it's yours. The phone rings, can you answer it? The phone rings. The phone rang. The phone is ringing. Can you answer it? Which one is correct? The phone is ringing. Can you answer it? And that is all. That's 20, 20. How did you do? How did you do? How many did you miss? How many were confusing? Um, do you have any questions? as to why one is correct and one is not correct. I didn't spend a lot of time explaining the exact grammar rules, but if you wanna leave a question down below, please do that. Um, write your score, see how you did. And if you have any questions for me, Greg, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you. So that's all for today. Until next time, keep practicing your English. I make three new video English lessons just for you, three new ones every week so that you can practice your English and, and improve your communication skills. So until next time, I will see you later. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.